Hello everyone, I am very happy to welcome you all to Dr. JJ's Virtual Academy of Commerce. In this video, I am going to detail the accounting treatment in relation to the calculation of four ratios from the given details of a company. Let's look into the problem. The following information is given about a company. Profit after tax at the rate of 60% is equal to 3 lakhs. Therefore, after paying tax at the rate of 60%, the profit after tax is amounted 3 lakhs. Market price per equity share is rupees 50. Depreciation is equal to rupees 40,000. Equity dividend is paid at the rate of 20% on equity shares of rupees 10 each. So 20% on equity shares of rupees 10 each. Equity share capital is amounted 4 lakh. What is the book value of every equity share? Rupees 10. And what is the total amount of equity capital? Rupees 4 lakhs. Therefore, 4 lakh rupees divided by 10 rupees will give you 40,000 shares the company has issued. 9% preference share capital is amounted 2 lakhs. We are asked to calculate dividend yield on equity shares. B. Cover for preference and equity dividend separately. C earnings per equity share and D price earning ratio. These are all the four ratios to be calculated from these details. Now what is the first one? Dividend yield on equity share. Look at the formula for dividend yield ratio. Dividend per equity share divided by market price into 100. So here we study the relationship between the market price per equity share and the dividend per equity share in terms of percentage. What is the dividend per equity share? On every share, 20% of the book value of the equity share is declared as dividend. So 10 rupees into 20% it comes to rupees 2. That's an equity dividend per share. So rupees 10 into 20%. Divided by the market price per share is already given in the problem. See, market price per equity share, it is rupees 50. Into 100, it gives us 4%. So, dividend yield ratio in the problem is 4%. What is the second ratio to be computed? Cover for preference dividend. Later, we will calculate the cover for equity dividend. Through computing this ratio, we come to know the relationship between preference dividend and the profit after tax. Preference dividend will be declared out of the profit after tax. Only after paying preference dividend, we will go to calculate the earnings available for equity shareholders. Fine. Now profit after tax is rupees 3 lakhs that's straight away given in the problem. Divided by preference dividend. You see the capital amounted 2 lakh rupees. What percentage of preference share capital it is? 9%. Therefore 2 lakh into 9% that's a preference dividend we will be declaring and paying every year. So it comes to 18,000 rupees. Now 3 lakh rupees divided by 18,000 rupees is equal to 16.666 times. What is the meaning of that? The profit before preference dividend is of 16.66 times of the preference dividend to be paid. Therefore, the preference shareholders should be happy because their amount is definitely, definitely guaranteed. For example, if they have to get 1 rupee dividend, the company earns 16 rupees before paying such dividend. So they should be very, very happy. So the dividend is covered by nearly 16.66 times. The next one, cover for equity dividend. What is that? Equity dividend will be calculated only out of the profit after tax and preference dividend. So, profit after tax and preference dividend divided by equity dividend. Profit after tax is 3 lakhs. Minus preference dividend is 18,000. Divided by 4 lakh rupees is equity capital into 20%. Definitely it comes to 80,000. So, 2 lakh 82,000 divided by 80,000 is equal to 3.525 times. So, the company earns a profit of 3.525 times of the equity dividend to be paid to the equity shareholders. So, they should also be happy enough. Then, the next ratio to be calculated is earnings per equity share. 
profit after tax and preference dividend divided by number of equity shares profit after tax and preference dividend is 2,82,000 the same amount divided by number of equity shares we have already calculated what is that 4 lakh rupees equity capital divided by 10 rupees per share it gives us 40,000 equity shares so 2,82,000 divided by 40,000 shares it gives us 7.05 rupees that is what earning per share fine let us calculate the last ratio in the problem that's nothing but price earning ratio what is the formula for calculating price earning ratio market price per equity share divided by earnings per equity share what is that rupees 50 is a market price per equity share straight away given in the problem divided by earnings per equity share we just now calculated it is amounted rupees 7.05 is equal to 7.0921 times that is what the price earning ratio so 7.0921 times of the earning per share is the market price of the equity share. This is a very important and interesting problem I would say. I suggest the learners to watch this video more than two times to understand this concept thoroughly. Thanks for watching my video. I will meet you in another video. Bye for now everyone.